What is going on everybody? Jake Harris and Orrin Armament. We are back out at the range today. We brought the Ruger Precision Rifle out with us again. This is the one chambered in 338 Lapua Mag. Our first outing with this rifle, we didn't really get the results that we were hoping for as far as accuracy. Now this is probably going to be our last outing with this rifle before it undergoes its transformation. We are going to be doing a uh, custom barrel on it and we're going to be swapping out the stock for the Magpul PRS Lite. It's hard for me to get comfortable with this uh, buttstock on it. I think the Magpul is going to be a lot more comfortable to shoot and help me get in a better shooting position with it. Now, one of the things that I don't really have any intention of changing on this rifle is the trigger. The factory trigger on the rifle is uh, pretty good. It's a good crisp break. Uh, pull weight's right around two and a half pounds. I actually brought our trigger pull gauge out with us today so we can uh, get an actual reading on that, see exactly what the pull weight is. So we're hoping to get some better results with this rifle today. We are going to be shooting off a lead sled this time instead of just shooting off a uh, bag and the bipod on the bench. And uh, we do have quite a few more rounds through the barrel now, so it should be a little more broken in. Gave it a good cleaning before we came out, so we'll get a few fouler shots through it before we start doing the testing. Uh, we're also going to be getting some velocity readings today. I uh, had the intention of doing that in the last video, but the lab radar was not cooperating. I finally took the plunge and bought one of the Garmin Zeros, so we're going to be testing that out today too and see how that works. Looks like it should be pretty slick. Let me grab this trigger gauge. We're going to give it a few pulls, see what sort of pull weight we get. All right, so we got our trigger pull gauge. This one's the Lyman digital gauge. First thing first, make sure the chamber is clear. Firearm is safe. Go ahead and close the bolt. We're going to give this a nice straight pull. That one broke right at two pounds, half ounce. Let's give it another one. two pounds, 0.7 ounces. And we'll give it one more. That was one pound, 14 ounces. So those were all within three or four ounces. So pretty consistent trigger break and a nice lightweight right around two pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rifle set up on the bench, get the Garmin set up, and we're gonna get some velocity readings with this 338 Lapua ammo that we're shooting today. All right, guys, so we got five rounds loaded up. We're shooting the 285 grain Hornady ELDMs again today. We got the Garmin lined up and ready to go. This little guy seems like it's gonna be pretty easy to use compared to the lab radar. I always had a hell of a time getting the lab radar pointed on target so it would read the rounds going down range. This thing seems like it's pretty much point and shoot. So we're gonna send them down there, see what sort of velocities we get, see what our standard deviation is and the consistency of the ammo. And we're also gonna see how this Garmin performs. Looks like we got a good reading on that. All right, that was five rounds. Let's see what our average velocity was and our extreme spread and standard deviation. All right, once you're finished with your, with your shot string, it's pretty easy to go in here. And we're gonna go down to session summary. So it looks like we had an average velocity of 26.63. Extreme spread was 30.4. Standard deviation was 12.7. So a little higher than I'd like to see. I like my SDs to be single digits, but we're gonna shoot another five shot string and see what we get. All right, so we got another five round mag loaded up. Got the Garmin reset to a new shot session. So we'll do another five round string. 
and see what we get here. All right, that looks like it was a pretty consistent string there. Go ahead and review our session summary. So yeah, that was a good one. So we had average velocity of 2661, extreme spread of 13.8, and standard deviation was five feet per second. All right, guys, well, I know I said I was gonna be shooting it off the lead sled today so I could get it a little more stable. Uh, however, this big berth of a rifle does not fit in the lead sled. So just going to be shooting it off the bipod with the rear bag again. I know in the last video I received some criticism saying that you can't get a good steady shot off. I've shot a, quite a few tiny little groups off a bipod and a rear bag on a bench. Not to say that, hey, we don't have our good and bad days of shooting. But for the most part, I think we can uh, rule out shooter and uh, just focus on the rifle and its grouping. So I'm going to send five rounds down range on target. First target we're going to shoot at is the bigger one in the middle. And we're going to see how it does this time around. All right, so first shot was a little low. The other four looked like they were all right about a one MOA group. All right, group number two. This time we're gonna go top right target. All right, so out of those first two groups, the first one, the very first shot was a little low. The other four shots looked like they were all inside right about one MOA. The second group that we just shot, kind of same thing. One shot's a little low and then four more that are all probably in there about one MOA. We're gonna let the barrel cool down a little bit. We'll shoot some more groups. All right, guys, we gave the barrel some time to cool down. We gotta shoot another five rounds. We have a little bit of a breeze at our back today. I'd say probably a 12 to 15 mile an hour breeze. That doesn't do us any favors.
All right, we're gonna shoot one more group. Gone through about $500 worth of ammo with this thing today. So far, groupings have been about the same as they were the first time we came out with the rifle. We're gonna shoot one last one and see if it gets any better. Well, that was probably the worst group yet. Well, it seems like this thing is still all over the place. Well, guys, I really had high hopes for this rifle coming out this time around. Uh, I was hoping that it was broken in more, that we were gonna get some better results with it. Grouping seemed to be pretty much exactly the same as they were the first time that we came out with this rifle. Now, it's disappointing because I know a lot of people that have had really good results and have gotten really good accuracy out of the Ruger Precision Rifles. So I don't know if this particular one, I just got a bad barrel. Uh, you know, or it is possible that it doesn't like the 285 grain Hornady ELDMs, but um, this is the first 338 Lapua that I've shot that hasn't shot those projectiles well. So, like I said, disappointing. Um, however, we are going to be putting it through its transformation, and I anticipate that we're going to get a lot better results out of it once we swap out the barrel and the uh, the stock. Um, you know, that was another thing for me. Like I said, I've, I've shot a lot of rifles off of benches with a bipod and a rear bag, and I've shot a lot of small groups doing it. Um, but it is a little bit difficult for me to get comfortable on this rifle with this stock. Uh, I'm sure some people like it. Just for whatever reason, I, I can't get a uh, comfortable shooting position with it. So I think uh, once I put the Megpole PRS light on there, um, I've shot quite a few other rifles with that stock, and to me it's pretty comfortable. So that should certainly help. Um, now I will say again, the trigger in the rifle is, is a good trigger for factory trigger right at a two pound pull and it's a very crisp break. But next time you guys see this rifle out, it will have undergone its transformation and uh, we'll see if we get any better results with it. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Please subscribe. We'll have more content on this rifle as well as a lot of other things coming down the road. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.